What is up everyone? Today we are going to Cabela's. Gonna show you our Cabela's here in Minnesota. It is a really cool looking Cabela's. And then after that, I'm gonna take you on an adventure fishing with my kids. They are skilled anglers. They do not mess around, they fish all the time. And you're gonna see them slay it today. I'm gonna cast out too, but it's more about the kids today, taking them to Cabela's, getting them in the vibe and then going fishing. All right, we are heading in right now. We got all the kids ready. Mama's got the baby. So here we go. We're going. This is a bad, dangerous place for me to be. See, when you come in here, they got this big mountain with everything. We come here all the time. Now I'll get back to you once we get to the fish area. See in here, we got some sunnies. There was a perch just there. Some carp. They even have gar in here. Big old catfish. Captain Trevelyn! I want to see a shark in this sea. They just have Minnesota fish. Yeah, this fish. is Minnesota fish. Some large mouth. Oh, that's a big boy. No, if you caught that one, he <laughs> doesn't do justice. He's a big boy. I would be. These guys are fed good, man. Yeah. Mm, it's straight. They still have their. They still have. Yeah. Did they take the northern out? Maybe the northern were getting too aggressive. We still have some big northerns in here. Whatever. These two little, these two little oh, anglers. Yeah. Oh, nice bass. What kind of bass is that? Cross bass. Yes, yeah. cross bass. What is? That? I mean, uh, and look at how his eyes are bulging. Yeah. Yep. They, they mixed it up. Comment if you know what this fish is. What kind of a fish he is. Yeah. He is a, he's a dirty dude. Oh, here's I mean, are they just pumpkin seeds who are weathered? <laughs> Let me see, the ones. Let me see. What's this kind of fish on the bottom? Oh, that's a gar. I mm -hmm. Yeah, they are. They are a lot like northern, but yeah, that's a gar. All right, so that's it for the fish. This tubby. Yeah, they used to have northerns in here. That is uh, that is strange, but yeah, we'll we'll get back to you once we're going through more of the store. That crappie is huge, massive. And there's another one. It's harder to see with these lights. They are good eating. <laughs> and then of course, you got boats everywhere. Everywhere. It's, this is one of the me and Sarah's favorite places to get clothes. Look at that. She got that here. One of her favorite places to shop. And then of course, there's there's boats everywhere. And then this is where Everly got her shirt. Show them, Dunes. That's her Fisher Girl shirt. Robo doesn't have his on today, but he's looking good. But yeah, me and Sarah love the clothes here. Oh, a Carhartt jacket, because they didn't have them at, where where did we go that day? Fleet Farm. Trolling motors. Oh, there's nets. Should I, should I go look at the nets real quick? That's what I came for, a musky net. I think I'm gonna go with this guy. I needed something big enough, I just got into musky fishing. This is what I'm going for lately, with Tiger Musky. See, and this is their trout setup. Got the mountain. Let's see if we can see any trout in there. Let's see one right there. There you go.
You like that, baby? You see them? Go see, I really found one. She's waving. You gotta always check out the bears. The bears. This is a really cool area. It's like three dimensional looking. And then too, there's games here. There's like an arcade shooting range game thing here. This place is a really cool Cabela's. That's why we bring the kids here. That's a boar. Warthog. Is this real dirt? Yeah, probably dooms. Look at the elephant, Roro. No. Do they smell bad? So I have a Carhartt. Our older son has a Carhartt. She wants a Carhartt. And then what about baby Luna? I mean, yeah, come on. Rowan. Oh, this is Rowan? Yeah, I see Rowan, do you want this? No? He always says no. They're just vibing. They love coming here. So what's up? You guys want it? Yeah. You guys are crazy. You guys, you guys, it's a four-wheeler. You wouldn't know what to do with it. Kason used to have one. We sold it though. He didn't want it anymore. Baby Luna's first time really enjoying herself at Cabela's before she was too widow. She's the smallest of the minions. The oldest is at home doing homework. These kids are obsessed with the elevator. I know it feels like it. Now this is the second floor of our Cabela's. And this is what they love. This is the toy area. And then they got the chocolate place. Looks like room, due Dad. to COVID, it's still closed. Dad, can I get this for the room? The baby's always lounging. Oh, there you go, Everly. Could literally buy all of this stuff for the room, babe. People we bought the house from too were all cabin themed. And that's why I looked out. He's got literally fishing pole racks in the closet, in the garage. I know I heard that someone said Jason's name. Yeah. Just mobile. See, and then this, this place is cool when it's open. It's got like really good chocolate they make, but you can still buy it down there. Yeah, it's a pretty cool vibe. Yeah, a long time ago before COVID. I know, don't. Why is it so Let's go, go. go to our page, check out our hot sauce challenge. We did these, but way hotter ones than those. <gasps> and then when you go in there, that's like a little like restaurant vibe. Clarence clothes. Look, we're on top of the mountain, Robo. Everly. We go down there and there's more tents and that's like more of the camping area and then that is where the gaming thing is. Yeah, when case someone look at it. And then I'm gonna go back there and get my musky net. Going for musky tomorrow. Logged about 13 hours on muskies. Cause I just started. Well, that's it for our Cabela's tour. Uh, we got grills there. We got the camping stuff all over. And then they got a gaming area over there. We're going to take the elevator down. I'm going to go buy that musky fishing net. Gotta keep track of the babies. And then we're going to go fishing. <laughs>